the X-Men Legends series from Ravensoft holds a special place in the hearts of many Marvel and RPG fans. Released in 2004 and 2005, these games laid the groundwork for superhero RPGs and became a defining moment in Marvel's video games, introducing both newcomers and dedicated fans to an expansive, immersive X-Men experience that blended great storytelling, tactical gameplay, and a vast cast of characters. Today for TacosTheGeeks.com Superhero Gaming Episode 2, we are going to be taking a look and talking about X-Men Legends 1 and X-Men Legends 2. Without further ado, let's talk about X-Men Legends, which was released in 2004. The story of X-Men Legends follows a character named Allison Crestmere, also known as Magma, a mutant who has the power to manipulate lava and stone. The game introduces her journey of self-discovery, joining the X-Men and becoming part of their fight against the Brotherhood of Mutants and other villains such as the Sentinels and, of course, Magneto. Key story points include Magnus training at Xavier's School for the Gifted Youngsters, which cultivates an epic battle such as the New York City Sewers or Asteroid M. And what really I like about this story in, in, in this presentation is the fact that we have Magma who's being hunted by the Mutant Liberation Front, and after her rescue by the X-Men, we get to really explore that self-discovery of what it means to be a mutant, what it means to be an X-Men under mentorship such as Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey. Like, she gets mentored by a lot of the X-Men. And what really makes this such a great RPG is the fact that we do get time, not just with the missions, but we really get to build a bond with the X-Men, get to know their backstories. There is a lot of X-Men lore in here. So for those who love the comics, you're going to really love the story. You're really going to love the lore that they do here because they really touch on some great character moments that was written by veterans such as Chris Claremont, who's one of the best X-Men writers. If you've never seen his work, Highly recommend that you check it out. And the narrative does a great job to the source material, really offering players that backdrop of X-Men lore and bringing in their favorite villains. Everybody gets enough screen time, enough characterization, enough Easter eggs for you to really connect with the X-Men. So the story-wise here, I thought it was really solid. X-Men Legends introduced players to a new style of combat through its action RPG mechanics. Up to four characters will be selected at a time, allowing players to switch between X-Men and execute each character's unique abilities. The combat is in real time, adding a chance to mix between basic attacks, mutant powers, and the opportunity to unlock combos as you level up. The game also introduced RPG elements, allowing characters to level up and disperse points to skills and unique various gear. Team synergy was a significant aspect, requiring players to balance the power of their team's mutants strategically. One of the standout gameplay features was the mutant power combos, where players can chain abilities for devastating team-based attacks. For instance, Storm's lightning with Colossus' melee attack will create combos with added impact. The cooperative gameplay was notable for its time as well, allowing up to four players to control different X-Men, making it a unique player experience that really emphasized team strategy and i just also have to say this another great thing is which i really loved was that character progression how you can upgrade the path for abilities such as health energy resistance stats allowing players to really create a balance for specialized teams it really did give you kind of a, a mix of a feel of what to do with that and it really goes a little bit more in depth when we get to x-men legends 2 apocalypse but Overall, this was a very fun game, and you get to unlock skins, characters, and as you're progressing through the game, there's so much Easter eggs such as comic books, backstory, and lore. Gameplay was just the blueprint for certain other Marvel games that we will cover throughout this series, such as Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which basically took the bones of this type of gameplay and made it uh, uh, made it their own. So we'll get into that down the line in the season, I, I guarantee you that. But yeah, X-Men Legends gameplay is so, so solid, still holds up to this day. So let's talk a little bit about the graphics, presentation, and of course, the voice acting. You know, folks, for a 2004 game, X-Men Legends really does a good job of embracing its comic book-inspired 
look, especially with the use of cel-shaded graphics that really amplify the character models to give us that comic book authenticity. The environments range from Xavier's mansion to the battle-torn city streets of New York and, of course, Magneto's Asteroid M, offering a really good look of rich textures, dynamic lighting for the time period that the game was on. While some character models do appear to be a little bit simple by today's standards, they really did capture the comic book feel and comic book aesthetics, especially the influence of the X-Men movies, because if you explore the X-Mansion and you go to the sub-basement level, this is pure straight from the movies and speaking of someone straight from the movies let's talk about the voice acting here because the voice cast was amazing so let's check out some of their performances someday some way i'll see you die where's blob taking the kid she's ours now wolverine you'll never see her again we'll get her back mistake even if we have to cut down each and every one of you brotherhood psychos. This room belongs to Scott Summer. Oh yeah, I remember him. And he's kinda spoken for. Oh, I, I didn't... I'm just teasing, Allison. Scott and I have been... Hello, Allison. Could you take me on the sub-basement tour? Yes, indeed. You see, a majority of this facility is underground so as not to attract the attention of those who mean ill will towards mutant kind. It features state-of-the-art training equipment that helps prepare the X-Men for any challenges they may encounter. The cast of X-Men Legends is just absolutely legendary. I mean, we have Professor X himself, Patrick Stewart, reprising his role from the X-Men movies and lending this iconic voice in his gravitas to the character we have d bradley baker who does an amazing job as nightcrawler stephen bloom with an iconic performance as wolverine and he will go on to play wolverine and be the wolverine voice of the of a generation jennifer hale as jean gray we have Chris summers as allison i mean it is just a all around solid cast folks if you have never played x-men legends you have to play it just for the performances alone, not just the gameplay, not just the graphics, not just the RPG mechanics, the voices, the performances really made us feel like we was either watching X-Men Evolution or X-Men 90, excuse me, not 97, but X-Men, uh, the original series. It is just an amazing performance all around. One of the best video game cast assembles. I, I, I stand by that, folks. Now, let us talk about the impact of this because X-Men Legends set the standard for the superhero RPGs and it helped pave the way for titles like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. The game allowed players to interact with their favorite mutants in new ways and delivering a authentic X-Men experience. And till this day, we love the balance between storytelling, action, team dynamics, and trust me folks, it only went up from here as we go into the rise of Apocalypse with X-Men Legends 2. Released in 2005, X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse expanded the scope by including both the X-Men and the longtime enemies, the Brotherhood of Mutants, as they join forces to face an even greater threat, Apocalypse. This time, the narrative dives deeper into the history and mythology of the X-Men universe. Players find themselves in a variety of locations from the Egyptian ruins to the sewers of New York City, and finally, Apocalypse Stronghold. The plot twists and alliances between the X-Men and the Brotherhood really created an engaging dynamic exploring themes of unity in the face of danger. And what really made this story really stand out, not to mention is that it's just a larger, grander scale. I mean, the arrival of this ancient mutant apocalypse who seeks to reshape the world according to his own ideals. And here the X-Men had to team up with the Brotherhood of Mutants to stop Apocalypse from just basically harnessing immense power and becoming this unstoppable force. The second installment doubles down on this world building and storytelling, and it takes place through this iconic location such as Genosha, the Savage Lands. And it does a great job of fusing both hero and villain teams, adding this compelling dynamic of it's kind of like think of it as like a buddy cop type of feel but it does a good job of once again 
giving everyone who's a playable character some screen time, some characterization. That way you can really connect with these particular characters. And of course, the gameplay improved. It's while well, it's, it's really kind of core the same. They did make some improvements in the combat system, so let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. Gameplay in X-Men Legends 2 builds upon the foundation of the first game with improved mechanics and, of course, a more intricate RPG elements. The game introduced a larger roster allowing players to choose between the X-Men and the Brotherhood members, and this changes the perspective of the game and players' access to characters such as Magneto, Juggernaut, Sabretooth, each with their own distinct powers. Players can upgrade each character with more complex skill trees and can even create custom combos with additional character combinations. The combat system was expanded to include new powers, larger scale battles, and for better AI companions. The fusion powers introduced here allowed more seamless team-ups and opened up possibilities for a massive arena of effective attacks. The game also included more complex puzzles requiring players to use specific mutant powers to progress, making each character feel essential and enhancing immersion. Especially with the puzzles, sometimes you might need someone who's a psychic or you need to get across a bridge. You can't have Wolverine, so you have to use Magneto to cross the bridge or Iceman across the bridge, or you can just teleport with Nightcrawler. So there were ways of trying to get to players to use various mutants from time to time and it, it does keep it a nice well balanced so you're just not having your core four favorites that you want to use you might have to choose someone who's psychic because there might be enemies that are weak against psychic attacks so you might want to put gene gray there there might be times where an enemy is resistant to physical attacks you might want to have cyclops or Iceman who are able to do long range attacks with their blasts do things like that so it really did a great job of just balancing things out and really really flushing out the core foundation that of what the game was previously x-men legends improved upon the original game's graphics offering more detailed character models improved animations and of course more visually dynamic environments the cell shaded art style remained and really does a good job once again of enhancing that comic book authenticity that we know and love the levels were more varied featuring more diverse settings from apocalyptic wastelands to futuristic labs Visual effects, especially during battles, were upgraded, showcasing characters' abilities like Magneto's metal manipulation or Iceman's ice constructs with great flair. Graphics is always a home run with this game. You can't, you can't really, I, I, I really can't stress it enough how great the graphics is. It really has such notable upgrades, smoother character models enhanced lighting the effects were great especially with cyclops octave blast the environments were more richer more brighter more colorful genosis mutant camps apocalypse dark lairs there was so much to visually appreciate in this and i can't stress how good part two really is for that now let's check out some of the voice performances for this one while we're here on the island of genosha Several days ago, Apocalypse attacked the city of Genosha. Magneto and several of his people were able to escape, but the rest of the populace was trapped. After helping to rescue me, Magneto requested the X-Men's aid in freeing Genosha. I could hardly refuse. Apocalypse is far too strong for either team to battle alone. I realize this is a stressful situation. Never thought I'd see the day. The Brotherhood be working alongside you, ex -pukes. Listen, much as I hate it, I need your help. A couple of hours ago, I went to Genosha to rescue a kid named Blink. Voice acting remained top tier with returning cast members and new additions adding depth to the game's larger roster. Patrick Stewart continued his role as Professor X, leading continuity. Stephen Bloom reprised his role as Wolverine, furthering establishing his character as a fan favorite. The actors behind Magneto, Tony J, and Apocalypse, Richard Doyle, delivered commanding performances that emphasized the high stakes of the story. The voices gave their villains a sense of gravitas, perfectly aligning with the story's epic scope. X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse solidified the franchise's reputation and is often credited with inspiring future Marvel games that will follow the RPG formula. 
with including, of course, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. By bringing the X-Men and the Brotherhood together, the game also resonated with comic book fans, showing that the character-driven stories could thrive within gaming. It also inspired other superhero games to explore more ambitious crossover storylines and larger character rosters. Both X-Men Legends games set the foundation for team-based superhero games. They were not only a tribute to the X-Men, but also an example of what a comic book adaptation could achieve with care and creativity. And that's the important part. The impact will still be seen in superhero games today as the concepts of team play, narrative depth, and unique character abilities continue to influence the genre. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, X-Men Legends 1 and 2 are a must-play and remains a benchmark in gaming history and must-play for all Marvel fans. This is Justin from AtakosTheGeeks.com signing off from another episode of Superhero Gaming. This was episode 2. If you like what we do here, hopefully you'll like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And hopefully we earned your subscription today. Stay tuned because the next episode... Well, it's about the day. It's about to get a little bit bright and embrace the light. That's all I'm going to say. Later days.